And welcome back to the golf show on Sports Radio WEEI. I'm Jana Mako, the golf ball whacker guy, joined in studio with Steve McGargle, the mayor of golf, and Russ Held from the Republican. And Steve, you know, when I go out to play golf, I want to play golf. I want to play a golf course where I can hit the driver on every single hole. And I'm looking for courses 72, 7,300 yards. Which is fine. Well, the other day, a couple of weeks ago, I found one at eighty three thirty five. You can hit it twice a couple of times here, <laughs> on the same hole. <laughs> Absolutely. Now I chickened out. I only played from seventy two hundred yards, but as I turned around, I saw the Tiger tees from seventy seventy five yards further. And uh, now we're going to bring on uh, Dan Weedock, who is the owner of the International Golf Club uh, there in Bolton, Mass. And Dan. Like I said, I always try to pick out a nice long golf course, and you've got the second longest golf course in the world. Yes, Jay. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. And uh, yes, we do. Up until recently, it was the longest, but the uh, the Chinese have recently overtaken us with the Jade Dragon in Wangdong Province. Uh, I think there's 8,400 yards, and, and we're at 8,325. Any chance? We like to say we're the, we're the longest in uh, North America. And and the and now also ranked the uh, from the Tiger Tees the toughest in North America. Well, I finally got a chance to play the course in on one of the holes. I'm not sure which one. It was a 711 yard par five, and I took a picture. I went to Facebook. By the time I finished the round, Steve, I had about 60 responses, either likes or and and so many people trying to get more information about the international, and uh, it was just incredible. Not only the length of the course, how beautiful. We got a chance to play the members course. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent shape, but what a great piece of property. Yeah, just a beautiful piece of property. And uh, my trip there a long, long time ago, we, we, had a, we shared a few laughs by trying to hit some balls from the back tees, and we couldn't reach the ladies' tees. That ended that. <laughs> now, Dan, let's talk a little bit about the facility. And... Obviously, from top to bottom, you have uh, not only world class restaurants, you have also you have a hotel, you have a conference center. Uh, tell us a little bit about the property because there's so much you can do besides golf at the International. Yes, that's true, Jay. Thank you uh, for that intro. And um, I, I like to say the uh, one of the mantras uh, here at the International these days is you know we're more accessible to more people than ever before, and we've got. Uh, lots of things happening in the event world from weddings to charity golf outings to all kinds of corporate activities. Uh, more focus around golf. We, we have the tailor made performance lab here, uh, one of only eight in the country. This is one of the top performing labs in the country where we do with tailor made, uh, uh, swing analysis and club fitting uh, using motion, motion capture technology. Uh, we also have the uh, Rick Smith Golf Academy here at the International providing world-class instruction. You mentioned uh, the fireplace room where we have Joe Brenner and his, uh, and his great talents uh, providing awesome, awesome fare and, uh, and good times. And the service, is here. the service here is, uh, is as you say, uh, uh, top, top, uh, top class. Now, uh, Dan, we're also uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, we've got us formed a partnership and we're going to be doing the Central New England Golf Expo next year at the International. And I'll tell you, um, you know, when I talked to the different golf courses and the people in the golf business and told them exactly where we're having it, there seems to be a lot of interest in next year's show. Um, Next year, it's going to be, I believe, on March 7th and 8th, which is a Saturday and a Sunday. But we're going to bring a uh, – it's just a way of getting people to the golf course and, and introducing it to, to them. Yeah, that's right, Jay. We appreciate that. You know, again, messages, uh, you know, um, we've got lots going on here for, uh, for lots of different types of people from, from, the, from the event world to the everyday golf a golfer or golf traveler. Uh, to even to even the member side of things, which uh, we've been doing uh, doing well for a long time, um, uh, but it's exciting. Lots going on here, and uh, the uh, the golf expo will be another opportunity for us to uh, to showcase everything we have from the uh, from the restaurant to the golf courses to to the whole. Uh, the whole good time focus we've got here. You're listening to The Golf Show on Sports Radio, WEEI, with Jana Mako, Steve McGargle, and Russ Held. Our guest this segment is Dan Weedock, the owner of the International Golf Club. And, you know, Dan, my pet peeve is 
going to golf courses and not really being taken care of. But I, I'll tell you one thing. From the time I drove into the International and you drop your bag to the time you actually leave, and, uh, you know, it was everybody took care of us from top to bottom. And, you know, it was even the members stepped up a little bit. I remember Dr. Raj, that's the only person I remember in the room, and we got a chance to go down in the members' uh, room downstairs, and those guys treated us really, really nice. I, I tell you, from the time we got there, we were there 13 or 14 hours. We had a blast, and everybody said that was the best time they had playing golf. And, and they sang to Bruce Hall from REO Speedwagon. Yeah. Now, that's a good <laughs> bunch of members right there, I'll tell you, Dan. <laughs> But uh, and, and, and you, you, you couldn't have given us you know better accolades there. The members had a great time the day you were here with your, with uh, with your friends Mario Speedwagon. They had a great great uh, great time downstairs, and you know we're one, we're like one big happy family here, and uh, we embrace members and guests alike. You know, uh, and that's the message. And uh, you know, Steve, I know you got a chance to play the course, and and Dan, I wanted just to talk a little bit about. When I saw the Tiger Tees, I'm thinking, geez, nobody plays back there. But our own WEI has their Tame the Tigers tournament there, and they play from the back tees. Absolutely. John Dennis, uh, John Dennis started that with us a number of years ago, and it's been becoming more popular every year and gaining momentum. And that's one of, that's one of two major occasions during the year where we host uh, tournaments on the Tiger Tees. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's probably a five-and-a-half to six-hour round, but it's usually um, – Usually a great day and uh, a, a unique experience for sure. Uh, one would be uh, John's uh, Tame the Tigers for Cancer. Uh, he, he, he does with the Jimmy Fund every year, and that's, uh, that's a great event. And uh, the other is a uh, kind of a memorial tournament for my father who started this whole thing 14 years ago uh, called the Chairman's Tiger Tea uh, Tournament. Um, Two great events, two great times during the year. Now, you also host a lot, uh, a lot of, you know, besides weddings uh, and tournaments, there's a lot of other events because you have that conference center. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing the, uh, the golf expo there because basically we can just stay on property. Uh, I mean, there's. Wait a minute. You're looking forward to getting back at that kitchen. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> He, all he's been doing is bragging about the food, Dan. That's all I hear every, every half an hour, the story about the food and the dinner and how well everybody got treated. Oh, it was, it was incredible. From, you know, and, and it was funny. As we're driving there, one of the, guy, one of the guys says, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just get a pizza. And I said, listen, this place, is they don't have pizza. But I'll tell you, it was the best thin crust pizza I ever had. That We had that for lunch, and dinner was absolutely fantastic uh, with all the seafood and the filet mignon and, and everything else, and everything was for class and and you know when you go to an event and you play and there was only four of us there and the people two weeks later are still talking about it you know that's a uh you, they had a great time and you guys are the best i mean uh yep uh, we we brought joe brenner in here who worked with todd english for like 15 years and he's been leading the whole kitchen and culinary program and his his thin crust pizzas are as you say they're the bomb they're the best and uh but we you know provide from that all the way up to the high end and you know, I appreciate the plug earlier on the whole corporate piece. That's a major focus here. We do, as I said earlier, retreats and conferences and meetings from five guys to 100 guys. We've got a 1,000, 10,000 square foot conference center and a 50 room lodge, and we host corporations all day long. And, and uh, you know, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 700 acre property with multiple facilities, so you never feel confined at the international. It's more like a, a campus environment. Hey, Dan, with so much made about the length of the golf course, what can you tell us about characteristics on the course? What can the public expect to see conditions-wise and layout and all that? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna experience world-class golf. Um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Tom Fazio masterpiece. You know, Tom Fazio uh, has been the, one of the most uh, recognized. I think he's got the most golf courses in the top 100 uh, in the country. Um, you're going to see with Tom... Uh, Lots of traditional clean lines. You're going to see uh, lots of oak trees and, and, and large, large bunkers with large faces, uh, beautiful high vistas. And on Tom's course, you'll have no water, but lots of naturalized areas, as he calls it. On the Pines course, the members-only course, it's uh, uh, a lot more fescue, a lot more traditional New England, a lot more pines. Um, you know, thus the names of the two courses. On the Pines course, we're predominantly pine trees. And uh, so, as you say, if you go off track, you can find your ball a little more easier and punch it out. Up on the oaks, you've got to be a little more careful with the blueberry bushes and the like. But, uh, 
to, you know, uh, and, um, uh, what's, what you're saying? Let's say, um, condition wise, you're going to, you're going to find fast greens and beautiful, smooth fairways. And, uh, not to be, we still have more. There is the Rick Smith Golf Academy also. You have a fitting lab on property. We can go on and on about the international. Yeah, so much stuff here, Jay, really. the uh, We brought uh, Rick Smith in two years ago. He worked with Phil Mickelson for 15 years. He's got a, an academy in Naples and, and his resort, Treetops in Michigan, and we were the third in the country. Uh, I think we were the eighth tailor-made performance lab in the country working with, uh, with those people, and that's that's been They've all been great programs, great successes for us, and also also great new avenues for us to uh, bring in a wider audience to showcase what we've got here. Well, Dan, we appreciate you coming on and joining us on the golf show, and I really can't wait to get back there and play uh, the other course. Au contraire. Thank you, Jay, for having me, and uh, looking forward to uh, having you guys back and, uh, and having um, having a few pints with you maybe next time. Absolutely. Dan Weak, the owner of the International Golf Club, and Steve, like I said, top to bottom, I played a lot of golf courses, and I tell you, I got a new number one. Yeah, I, I, I remember being stunned by the yardages. It's all shaking my head because we tried a few of the back tees, and we literally could not reach the ladies' tees. It's, it's out of sight, though, a place you have to play. How long of a drive from downtown Springfield? Uh, about an hour and ten minutes. Um, if you're really traveling, maybe an hour. Uh, I think my brother didn't got there in an hour. It took me exactly two hours from Worthington. Yeah, right yeah. on. So uh, it was uh, just uh, it was a lot of fun. But anyways, we got to take a short break. You're listening to the Golf Show on Sports Radio W E E I.